While much of that rainwater has receded across our area, people across our community are still dealing with significant damage. One of the hardest hit areas is in Jasper, and our Matt Lackritz tells us how the effects are still being felt tonight. For days, the entire region has dealt with heavy rain, forcing the closures of roads, bridges, and more. About two and a half hours southeast of Tyler, the city of Jasper has been one of the hardest cities hit. All throughout the county now, we still have uh, a number of roads uh, that are county-owned roads and bridges that are uh, either closed, water over them, or damages. Emergency Management Coordinator Billy Ted Smith says in addition to roads and bridges, the city is dealing with significant damage and people are being forced out of their homes. We had uh, some rescue attempts and um, we have a number of homes that were flooded. Uh, we've got, we're trying to get help for them. One of the ways they've gotten help is through the Texas Task Force One to help with rescues. The group includes firefighters from Longview. The Texas Task Force is a state ran agency and they look at the area being affected at this time was Jasper and then they decided what resources that they needed to send. Longview Fire Marshal Kevin May says six members of their water rescue team were sent to help on Tuesday in any way they could. Members of the task force will remain as long as the state determines they're needed as more rain is expected to come through the region. I have sandbags available at the commissioner's uh, precinct uh, buildings uh, for the citizens and uh, we've got uh, high profile vehicles in case we need them to uh, evacuate anyone. We've got you covered East Texas. Matt Lackritz, CBS 19.